Hi! Um, this is going to be a super quick video. I just want to film this really, really quick um, because people have been asking us about this. Um, and also, it's part of our journey, which is what I'm documenting. So I want to make sure that I'm doing that. Um, but the question that I have been getting... Hello. Um, I've been getting asked a lot is like, what is the current status of the adoption? Like, where are we right now? Um, which is a really good question. And people have been asking some really good things behind that question. So that's what I want to document right now because that's where we are. So somebody asked me recently, um, the way that they phrased it was, is the adoption chapter of your life over? Like, is it done? And I totally know what they meant, but the answer to that question is always going to be no. Um, the adoption chapter of our life will never be over because there will never be a, every other phase of our life will be affected by, positively affected, but influenced by the fact that George is adopted and, um, that will never not have been the case. So there will be things that we are navigating when he's an adult too. So while no, the adoption chapter of our life is not over, um, that's kind of like the long answer. The short answer of where we are right now is we are in, still we are legally in post placement. So what that basically means is that um, we have not yet finalized the adoption, but George is here permanently. So what happens, um, we are working in the state of Michigan and the state of Ohio because that's where our agency is at. Our placement agency, our home study agency is here. It's very confusing. Um, so we will finalize in the state of Ohio. So we are adhering to Ohio laws about finalizing adoptions. So it was required that we do six months of post-placement visits with a social worker, which meant that once a month for six months, our social worker from our home study agency here in Michigan came to our home to kind of check out the home, check in on the family, check in on me and Kyle, and obviously George, to make sure that um, everybody's adjusting, that we don't need additional supports. She came and she gave us a lot of help with getting George into therapies and things like that. So that's been great. Um, we love our social worker, so her coming over is always, like, kind of a treat. <laughs> so now we have passed that mark. We have been over six months post-placement. Um, so, basically, legally, nothing has changed from today to the day that we signed paperwork that made him ours. Legally, we are not George's parents yet. We are his um, guardians, his legal guardians. Um, and we have permanent custody. So it's not like a foster care situation where he may um, at any time leave the home. Like he's here for us. He's here with us forever. Like that's not changing. And the fact that the adoption is not finalized um, does not affect that. And it does take a long time. So that is not a surprise that it did not happen right as we hit the six month mark. Um, because we are applying for state subsidy and for state um, social security and things like that because of his lifelong diagnosis. Um, he does qualify for that, so we are working, we're negotiating with the states. So it is Ohio communicating with Michigan, which can sometimes be very complicated um, and take a little bit more time. So it's a tricky phase because we're kind of just waiting for people to clear us to go and we've got no control over it. So that's the frustrating part of where we are right now. So what will happen next? Um in this process is eventually after the subsidy negotiations are completed, which I know they've started, but I don't quite know our agency, our placement agency, the one in Ohio is doing all that. So I don't know exactly the logistics of that, but they have applied for those. So that is in the works. Once we get approved for those and that gets all figured out, then we start the application for finalization. I don't have anything to do with that. That's all communicated between our home study agency and our placement agency. Um, and that's essentially just getting things ready for the court date, which is the day, like the big day is the court date, um, the finalization day, which is where we will go um, drive to Southern Ohio um, to go to a court and we will sign documents and we will swear in that we will be his parents forever. And basically that day, as of that day, the law recognizes that George has is entitled to everything as much as our biological children would be entitled to. Um, and that day also will be the day that um, his name change becomes legal because right now his name is not legally George Johnson, um, which has been very funny as I'm making doctor's appointments, I have to use his legal name. And so that's been, I've explained it, I think, to 6,000 people <laughs> approximately. And I also 
uh, I've gotten just used to at this point just carrying around his placement paperwork with me so that if we go to a doctor's or anything there is I have documentation that says though I am not his legal parent I am his legal guardian and I will be his parent which is kind of a very if you think about it outside of what the law says like that's I hate that I really really hate that right now like legally George doesn't have parents and again I know it's all legally because like he does he's got us and he's got his first parents that love him and so it's a weird like kind of gray area that I don't love but you know we don't it does not matter that much to us I I like his legal given name um because it reminds me of where he came from and so it's not like I'm necessarily itching to get it finalized and I'm not necessarily like impatient about it I just don't like what the law if you break down what the laws actually mean I don't love that but there's I can't control that there's nothing that we can do about that so um once we get that court date we're just gonna go down there and sign paperwork more paperwork and then ugh, I guess I mean that's the end of that chapter but even then so even after that um they will reissue a new birth certificate that has me and Kyle as his parents on his birth certificate and um, all of that. And that's actually kind of, I'm excited about that day only because um, I've seen a lot of pictures and videos of people's finalizations day and it seems like a really special day. Um, and so I'm really hopeful that we have like a cool judge who will let us take pictures and stuff. So I guess we'll have to see about that. But um and then even after that, like, it's not over there. So even after we get the finalization and it's legally, like, he's legally our son, we have more paperwork to do after that, right? So even after that, it's not done. And then we have the rest of our lives with our son. And, like, the thing to remember is that, like, George will always have been adopted. And so that will be something that we will all be navigating through his entire life. So it is not like we are, there is no finish line in this at all. It's all a process and it's all a step-by-step -step and it's oftentimes day to day. And as he grows It's the next day, my camera died yesterday. I've been super busy, it's back to school time, work is crazy, um, but it's all good. So um, to finish off where I started, yeah, that's basically kind of where we're at. Um, I do, one thing I really wanted to make sure that I communicate is that we don't mind waiting for finalization because number one, like I don't need the law. He's so talkative now. I don't need the laws to tell me that he's ours. I know that he is, and I know that he is loved by us and his first family. Um, and I don't need the name change to be legal. You know, it's not anything that I am necessarily, like, desperate to get done. Of course, I'd like for it to get done because it's just another <laughs> check mark to do. But um, the other thing I want to make clear is that we don't mind waiting because people wait for years to become parents, and we waited a week. And so waiting for this is really not, um, is not a big deal. It's nothing. It's really nothing. You know, um, it feels, it's kind of like getting married. I feel like where when me and Kyle got married, it was like, it felt like a formality because I already felt committed to him for the rest of my life. And I know that I'm committed to being George's mom and I'm committed to, um, raising him to be proud of who he is and to help him navigate all of the, um, trials that come with his life and um, all of the wonderful successes he's going to have and so does Kyle. So that's kind of that. That's where we're at. So basically that's um, where we're at with our adoption journey right now. So um, that's all I got today. So thank you for watching today and yesterday. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to go play with this very talkative baby because he wants some attention and I don't mind giving it to him. So thanks for watching. Um, make sure you like, subscribe. I think those are the things to do. And I'll make another video very soon because exciting things are happening. So see you later.